euro. It's a big mover in the uh, US session so far. Um, ECB came out. They did hike rates to 25 as expected, but it wasn't enough. That was almost fully priced in. The market was looking at that statement, um, and you'd have to say it was super dovish with the ECB ruling out any further hikes this year. So from a charter's point of view, we'll have a look at the reaction there. There was the, as you'd expect, um, slight spike up, very slight on the actual rate announcement. But as soon as those algos read that statement, away we went. Um, it's not looking good for the euro from here. I think that um, what we'll be looking at the zone, this support zone here, which is the last swing low in June, um, this is going to be very important to watch for the rest of the session, whether it can find some consolidation in, in that area. But I am thinking that this upper trend line, this 108 level, any kind of rallies in the uh, euro, probably be looking to sell unless you get a real clear breach of this area here. Um, the next level down, if we do bring this last break, this last swing low in June, would be the obvious, the very big psychological level of the 105, around 105, where there's been uh, a lot of support going back to the start of this year. So yeah, key levels to watch around this area here, around the 108, slightly below. Um, this support zone here, which goes from 107 down to about 106.20. This is the last low from June. A break of that, the next level is fresh air. I would think this 105 is certainly in play. Um, I would expect the US dollar to remain bid as well, going to at least into the FOMC next week. So um, be wary of uh, of trying to get long the euro until that that meeting is done.